Welcome everyone to My AI Live. Today is Wednesday, May 8th. My AI Live. We get together every Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific. And we do a demo of the My AI system. We do a different demo every single day. We do something new. We answer your questions. We are helping you get the results you need on social media. And the great thing is, if you come here each day, you're going to learn something new. You're going to become a social media expert. Uh, so lots of fun that we're having here. Yesterday, Diana and I played together and we made a post. So today we're going to showcase her post if she finished her post up. Um, and so what we're going to do first of all is, did I have anybody brand new? Anybody brand new, please put a one in the chat. If you're not new and you've just been here before, that's awesome. If you learned something great, please put some sevens in the chat for me. And it is a beautiful day here in California. Uh, see, we've got people from all over. So let's start with this first of all. Today's Wednesday. A couple of different things that you can do on Wednesdays to showcase who you are. Now, we have a philosophy that we do 80% our life, 80% um, you know, our values, what we're working on, lifestyle, all these things, and 20% business, right? And in that 20% business, we do things, we've got a couple of different ways of doing things. Uh, not yesterday, but the day before, we showcased Jennifer's post on how you make a product post, just a straight product post with a testimonial before and after. And uh, that was great. Now, yesterday, we talked about how to talk about your product without talking about your product. So with Diane, we talked about how to do some tips in a health-related area that could go to her product. And of course, her example yesterday was a multivitamin that has really changed her life, right? Like really helped her with energy, her nails, her hair, and all of this. So today, if we go back onto the 80% side instead of the 20% side, and we're looking at our life, some of the hashtags that go really well on Wednesday, as we know, are... One is from Ray Higdon, and that's Wealth Wednesday, hashtag Wealth Wednesday. Now, for Ray Higdon, that Wealth Wednesday is showcasing yourself as, and it's not a, it's not this thing of, oh, it's all about me, I'm so great, all this stuff, but it's giving inspiration and then showing people your values. So one of the things he has his people do every Wednesday is go out and do something for somebody else. There's two reasons for this. One is when we are hoarding our money, even when we don't have a lot of money, when we hoard our money, we're in a closed off vibration of receiving money, right? That's the best way that I can put it is just the way he does it. And so the thought is, is that if we go and pay for somebody's meal behind us in the drive through somebody's Starbucks, something like that, then we're breaking the mentality of lack and we're teaching our subconscious that there is enough and that there's abundance and that we're blessing others. That is his philosophy in this. And really, it's a great way of teaching your subconscious mind that there is enough, right? It breaks the hoarding mentality like, Ur. so what he tells people to do is go buy somebody's meal, go put money into a box of diapers. You go to the grocery store. It has handles for diapers. Throw some cash in there or something. The mother, the new mother who's opening up, diapers are expensive, sees cash, and it's just like, okay. And you hear some of these stories on the internet, and it's so funny because um, Nina uh, had somebody buy her uh, something recently. And the first thing I thought was, oh my gosh, if that had ever happened to me, I would ask them, are you part of Ray Higdon's group? Like I would, because he teaches this so much. So Wealth Wednesday. Yeah, Sean, I love Wealth Wednesday. Yeah. So there's one way to do Wealth Wednesday. Another way is if you do not want to go, and I'm not telling you what you have to do, but if you don't want to go out and do this, um, and make a post about that, you're going to go out and do this and why you do this to bless others. If that's not your thing, Another Wealth Wednesday great thing would be talk about being in control of your finances, right? So being in control and not, you know, because we know when you just work a job, you are limited to what they are willing to pay you, right? And so having the conversation on Wednesdays, hump day, day in between when people are working, they're kind of like, I wish this week was over. I'd quit my job, but I can't because I need the money kind of thing. 
great way to talk about and introduce a money topic on your post to talk about where you were at before. Maybe, you know, hey, I, I, I used to hate my job. I worked there, but I couldn't quit because I was I, I, I couldn't afford to quit. And so I had to figure out another way to get myself out of this job. And so I started my own business. And in starting my own business, I made the decision to start taking control of my finances and start finding a way to get paid what I was worth, okay? And so we can do a post like that as well. So let's go do some demos. Let's kind of think about some of those things. And if you have another hashtag in here, if there's another hashtag that you're thinking, throw it in the chat for everybody so we give each other ideas. So the two I have is Wealth Wednesday, Wealth Wednesday and hashtag Wisdom Wednesday. So giving wisdom on Wednesdays is another thing. Now, remember, whatever you're doing, you want to give a lot of value so people want to stop and read your post. That is is the whole goal of this, right? So we're going to go over, we're going to do this. And I am going to come over here. And first, I want to show you where you're going to find your replay for this. You're going to find your replay here in the official Corporate Now site group. This is where you find your replays and all the most up-to-date information. So if you are not a part of this group, please go in and, and um go in and join so you make sure that you get all of the newest information. If you want to know more about me, you can come over here to my, not my picture. That's not going to show you anything. You can come over here to my profile right, right here. And you can see more about me and what I do, about my community, other things that I'm working on. All of my posts are made with a My AI system. So if you ever need some ideas, you can come over here and see those. Okay. So let's go ahead and show you kind of what I'm talking about. So when we're giving a lot of value, people stop. Now, one of the things I always tell people to do is if you want to build like really big on social media, Pay attention to what stops you in the news feed. So when you go on the news feed, what stops you? What stops you and what, what do you, makes you stop to read a post, right? Photos and stuff like that, these work really, really well. Photos of beautiful things, these kinds of things work great, although you do need a question in there. Um, so this is great, but if you had a question in here, you'd actually have more conversations from it. It's all about starting conversations. Everything that you do on social media is about starting conversations. That's just plain funny. How much Jim Beam could a Jim Beam if a Jim could do? That's just silly. Okay, so anyways, you want to see what it is that stops you and start doing some of those things. Same thing with Instagram. We're going to come over here to Instagram and we're going to look at the feed. What stops us? Okay. So you've got photos, photos, advertisements do not stop me. This is just plain funny, Eric Worre. So you look at the things that actually stop you and start mimicking those. Okay. Now, I don't see anything great here that's really going to stop me. So that's probably says a lot, right? I do stop on James Clear. And I do typically step on Darren Hardy just because they give a lot of value. So even if the photo is not great, if I see the name, they give a lot of value. So this is what you want to think about as you're doing your post. So what value can you give today? We're going to come over here. We're going to create our social media post now, right? And if you do find a post that you like... Like say you found a post that you really liked, you can go and click it, uh, copy it and put it into the Now AI and have it make that post for you. So I'm actually not seeing anything I like today, which is sad. Actually, there's nothing good on here today. That's pretty sad. All right. Well, let's make a great post today. Whoa. Let's go here. Uh, yeah, before and afters. We're okay. 
All right. Well, let's come over here and make our own post. So if we're going to go on Wealth Wednesday or Wisdom Wednesday, first of all, which one are you going to do? Think about the hashtag that you're going to do and think about what you're going to do today. Today, I'm going to do Wealth Wednesday. I'm going to do a caption and suggested image. And I am going to post about, I'm going to write a post. And uh, let's see, hashtag Wealth Wednesday. Being in control of the finances I make is so important to me. I had a revelation late in life that a job could never pay me what I am worth. Put the people in here in the waiting room. Okay. Once I had that revelation, I took control of my life and finances by starting my own business. I made a decision that if I was going to work that hard, it was going to be for me. Now I have a life I love with freedom, travel, and joy. Okay. Now, of course, all my little typos. Let's get these. All right. So let's do this. I am going to take this and I'm going to show you two ways that I can do this. Whoa, please tell me that that did not just disappear. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Thank you very much. All right, Mike, giggle at me because this is the tech stuff that happens to all of us. All right, let's do that again. Oh, gosh, that's so frustrating. I'm sorry. My computer just glitched out and it just erased everything I just wrote. So I'm going to just show you an example of this real quick just for the sake of time and not rewrite out that whole thing again. Okay, so I'm going to generate. Now, there's two different ways that you can do this. You could do a caption and suggested image. The other way you can do this is if you do not want, I'm going to teach you a little trick about this AI that I've learned. If you don't want to have to write a lot of detail in the AI for yourself, but you want it to give you the story, you can do long post and suggested image, and it will actually write a lot more of it for you. So let's do this. It was wealth wins. It was a Wednesday, just like today, when I realized my job couldn't pay me what I was truly worth. So I took a leap into starting my own business, blending my passion for personal transformation and desire to empower others. It's amazing how taking control of your finances can truly transform your life. Okay. Now, if I was going to use this, I'd put a little bit more of my own story in here, but let's say you don't want to write your own story. Okay. If you don't want to write all of it yourself, you actually can do this little trick right here where you open up another window, take the exact same thing that you just wrote that you put in there and go to long post and suggested image and do that instead. If you use, even if you're going to use your own photo, like Nina uses a lot of her own photos, Steve uses a lot of his own photos, 
If you're going to use even your own photo, many times I will still do the long post and suggested image because it writes more of the story out for me where I don't have to put as much of my own stuff in there. So it's really, really useful on the days where you're like, I don't really want to write all this today and you're not in the mood or you're trying to make your social media posts in advance, which we'll probably talk about on Friday, ways to use the AI to make your posts in advance to actually streamline your time. But either way, I will use the long post and suggested image. So it will actually give me more of the story already put together for me so I don't have to add in as much as my own personal stuff. So the first one I did, you saw that it gave me this much. In order for somebody to connect with me about this, I'm going to have to add a little bit more of my own story in there, right? If I do this one right here, now we're going to see this. Now, this may be a little long, but you don't have to use the entire thing, okay? So on this beautiful Wealth Wednesday, I'm taking you on a journey, one that's not just about excess, but empowerment and finding your true worth. It's a story many of you might find close to your hearts. And yes, it's sprinkled with my signature blend of humor, blah, blah, blah. I'd probably take all of that out of there, okay? And I would jump right to here. There comes a moment in many of our lives when we pause and reflect thinking, is this what I'm truly worth? This thought haunted me every day, echoing around the walls of my cubicle. The realization hit me hard. My job could never compensate me for the value I bring to the table. I want you guys to really think about that because most people are starting to figure that out, that working 40 years, 40 hours a week, and, and only spending the rest of your life living, doing what you want isn't working. So in a bold move fueled by caffeine and an unyielding desire for more, story of our lives, I'm right. I I'm I embarked on a thrilling roller coaster ride of starting my own business. It wasn't just about making ends meet. It was about crafting a legacy, creating something that bore my hallmark of excellence. Now, I would take parts of this like this and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. This is a little bit advanced, but we don't really have anybody new here, so I wanted to kind of show you how this would work. First of all, I'm going to probably use my own photo in here instead of the one there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. I'm gonna take this entire part out and I'm gonna break up some white space, right? Embarking on the quest wasn't just about proving my point or filling my pockets. It was about passion, about making waves in the ocean, sometimes too calm for comfort. I dove head first into learning everything there was to know about my field, networking like a maniac, because let's face it, who isn't a bit crazy about their dreams, and laying down the bricks of my empire one sale at a time. The fear, fears and uncertainty were real, but again, so were the exhilaration and triumphs. Every setback became a setup for a fantastic comeback, teaching me resilience, patience, and most importantly, the art of laughing at myself and moving forward. What started as a mission to claim my worth transformed into a community building exercise. My business became a beacon for others, sharing the same struggles, a place where we celebrate not just revenue, but personal victories. Steve, Nina, is that true? That's what we do, right? Yeah. Clients became friends, partners turned into mentors, and together we crafted a world where we felt like play. A crafted a world where work felt like play. The joy of waking up excited about Monday mornings was a gift I never knew I needed. Honestly, I would actually probably end it right there or no, I'll take it back down to right here. I'm going to show you how to do this because it's a little long. If you're struggling at a crossroads, wondering if you should take the plunge into the unknown, remember the journey is as beautiful as the destination. Yes, there will be storms, but nothing a determined heart and a strong mind can't overcome. Let my, I'm going to break it off right there. And that's where I'm going to put my offer in. Okay. Yes, there will be storms, but there's nothing a determined heart and a nothing, uh, a strong mind can't overcome. If you are ready to make a change, if you, 
if you are tired of not being paid what you are worth, if you want to create a life you truly love, then I want you to join us in my community where we will help you reach the goals and dreams of your heart, not hearth. I'm going to make a little bit more white space in there to follow my own rule. Okay. All right. Let, let my story be the nudge you need to step into your power and chase your dreams. Who knows? The next success story we celebrate on Wealth Wednesday could be yours. So to everyone feeling undervalued, to every soul yearning for more, your path to financial freedom and personal fulfillment awaits. It's not just about money. It's about making a life. Remember, the world is your oyster. Oops. It's time to craft your pearl. And this bottom part I'll actually keep. Okay. Now if I can learn how to spell. Perfect. Okay. Now I've taken something that seemed long, made it shorter, it told my story because the AI knows my entire story, right? I'm going to go and put a photo in here and I'm going to use a photo of me. So let's see, what photos do I have recently of me? Uh, and I know this is a little long, but I want to show you some extra things that you can do with this AI because you guys, you cannot imagine how amazing this AI is. Like, seriously, I, I'm blown away every single day of new things that I am doing with this AI. Let's do this. I'm thinking pink today. Yes. Okay, so we're going to do pink today. And I'm going to upload this photo that I took for a different post that I actually never used. And I'm gonna take it right here and I'm gonna put it in. So I've got my photo, I've got my post, I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna hit next. Done. Now, that took me a little bit of time to do. However, and the caption and suggested image would have been shorter, would have been quicker. However, for me personally, in building my business, my success hasn't necessarily came from just doing the fastest thing. I really want to craft connection. When somebody reads a post of mine, I want them to feel the story and feel themselves in the story. Because if they feel themselves in the story, we have built a connection. And if we have built a connection, I have the possibility of having a conversation with that person that allow them to either join my network marketing business, join my community, start coaching with me, something where I can actually help them. So if I'm always out there just spooing, oh, but just buy my product, buy my product, that doesn't work. Give a ton of value. Talk about your story. And as you talk about your story, you're inviting people on the journey with you. So let's take five minutes. Let's go make our post real quick. Now, if you do a long post, it's going to take a little bit longer, and that's okay. You don't have to have it done in five minutes. If you have it done in five minutes and you want to show it, you're more than welcome to. But the most important thing here, Zai, is for somebody to connect with your story, okay? That's the thing. Everybody here has overcome something. Everybody made a decision to start a business or do something. Talk about the decision of why you did that. Even if you're not at your end success point, it doesn't matter. You only have to talk 
to the person that you used to be and you only have to be a few more steps ahead of them, right? So let's go make our post. If you have questions, get your digital hands up. We can ask some of those questions during this time. And if you wanna showcase your post, get your hands up so we can showcase your post. We're gonna go ahead and put the five minutes up right now. Diane, do you have a question, honey? No. You it's you want to showcase a post. Okay, let me go through some of these questions real quick and then we're going to go okay. straight over to your post. Okay. So Vinny, I'd like the option to uh image my caption. What? This way I can write my own post and the AI can pair a perfect pick. Can What? Yeah, so I want to, I can write, I, I'm good at that. So I just want to come up with my own stuff and have the system come up with a picture. And then I was asking you to get that done in the next two hours. Can you do that for me? <laughs> well, actually, you know, the system does kind of do this. You can write some of the stuff in there with caption and suggested image, and then it'll give you an image, but then you can go in and find other images. Yeah, that's the part I want to do automatically. Oh, you don't want it to find other images for you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I know they're working on some graphic stuff for us, but I can't let out the beans of what it is. But um, the stuff that I think that is coming, you're going to really like. So stay tuned. All right. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Clyde, did you have a question, honey? Oops. I accidentally muted you. Please forgive me. Uh, yes. I see you. Where did you download your picture from? I, I seen on your screen, you know, where you click the the button, but where was that picture located on your computer so that you could actually put okay. it into the pro on your on your post? Perfect. So there's two things that I did. So and there's two ways to do this depending if if you're Apple and Android. Okay. So the picture that I uploaded here was actually on my phone. And what I did was because I have an Apple phone and a Mac, both Apple, I have this ability to airdrop from my iPhone to my Mac. Makes it super easy to do photos and stuff like that. For anybody who is on an Android phone who takes selfies and is uh, working with a Windows computer, the way you will do this is you will have Google Photos on your phone and you will open up a tab with your Google Photos on your computer your photos will automatically upload from Google Photos on your phone to Google Photos on the cloud, and you can uh, you can access uh, it there to actually put it into the post. Um, everybody stores their pictures differently on different computers. I have a million folders. If you actually saw my filing system on my computer, it's kind of insane because of all the work that I do graphically. So some people just keep them in downloads their photos, it's wherever your photo's located at, but when I airdrop, it automatically goes to downloads. So I, I hope that was helpful, Clyde. Uh, yes, because I try to do everything from my computer and seem like, like it's much easier if you do it on your phone. Mm, I do everything from my computer. The only thing that makes it tough is when the photo is on my phone and I have to get it moved to my computer. So in that case, it is, um, you know, um, more about getting it from the phone to the computer than from getting it to the computer and the social media. So you must have uh, your, a lot of photos stored on your computer. Yes. Um, and if are your photos mostly on your phone? Yes. What kind of phone do you have? iPhone. You have an iPhone. What kind of computer do you have? Oh, I know it's a Windows 11. Okay, so you have a Windows computer. So the way you will do this, Clyde, is download, go to your app store on your iPhone and download Google Photos. Tell Google oh. Photos to import all of your photos. Then on your Windows computer, you will, and, and another way actually you could do this also if you don't want to use Google Photos is you could go to iCloud 
on your computer, on your Windows computer and access your photos that way as well. Um, but usually when you're working with uh, Windows, Google Photos works really, really well with that. So I would uh, just download Google Photos on your phone. It will automatically take all of your photos and put it up in there in the cloud. And then you can be on your computer, open up a tab to go to Google Photos, and then you'll be able to download any of those photos into your computer to use them easily in your posts. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Clyde. Thanks for being here. All right, we've got Diane and we've got Steve who want to share today, it looks like. So let's go to Diane first. So Diane and I yesterday played together and we had some fun making posts. And so today we're going to talk about the result of that. And if you weren't here yesterday, we were talking about a product post and how to do that without necessarily talking about the product name. So let's go ahead and come over here. First of all, Diane, your profile picture is perfect. I love this. Like I love, 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 love this profile picture. Okay. Uh, next, let's come over here to your post. And so this is what we were talking about. Now it's a little bit long, so we're not going to probably go through the entire thing, but I want to give you guys the highlights. Remember she was talking about wanting to talk about the importance of multi her multivitamin because of the nutrients of the ground, the food, the food doesn't have the nutrients anymore. We've, we've killed the ground. And so how important this was for her and it's her own journey. One. Oh, it's the next one. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, we are. Perfect. Yeah, so we said to do a before and after post or a before and after picture. This is her before and after. So you can definitely see dramatic results here, right? And those are the kinds of testimonial photos we always want. This is perfect. Actually, Diane, I don't think you could have had a better testimonial photo. This is beautiful. Okay. It took me hours. I don't, I didn't like photos. And yeah. I'm going to post on that today. But that one, I just thought that was apps. And then yeah. I struggle to put two photos together. Well, the the uh, Canvas stuff that I'm going to have for you, uh, we should hopefully have that out to you by the end of this week. We're, we're putting st stuff together. So my VA should uh, have that out to you guys. But I am we'll happy with that. that. I did. Yeah. Thank All right, you, well Nina. Let's look at this. Ever felt perpetually tired with brittle nails and dull skin? I revamped my health and tra the transformation is real. Tip one. Uh, only thing I would add right after the transformation is real are here are some tips so you can do the same. You want to make it clear why those tips are there. You're, you're guiding somebody on a journey. Okay. Tip one. I embraced a diet filled with good grains, fruits. Oops. Good greens, fruits, and proteins. A consistent intake of these nutrient-rich foods boosted my body's glow. Tip two, adequate hydration plus supplements like vitamin D, B12, and omega-3s revitalized my energy, hair, and nails. Getting outside as much as possible. It's about... It's all about balancing a good diet with the necessary extra. Let's not forget the avocado. So good. Tip three, never underestimate rest and self-care. Early nights, relaxing bath, and a good book significantly improve how I feel. Small tweaks led to major changes. Healthy eating, smart supplements, and true self-care transformed my vitality. Here's to feeling fantastic inside and out. Believing you can do it is halfway there. Want to chat and find solutions? You are worth it. So two things I would add real quick. Are, I Instead of want to chat and find solutions, I, I think I, I like the statement a little bit more. Are you looking for solutions? Do you want to see improvement in your skin? Do you want to have that extra energy? I'd love to give you some more tips of what I did. Drop a me down below or DM me. Something like that. Okay. It's more specific in the kind of conversations. When, when I see want to chat and find solutions, it sounds more like 
I, I'm getting ready for a sales pitch. Where if it's okay. where the other way you read it, it's like more like I'm going to give you some more stuff that will help you. I've already given you tips here. Now I'm going to give you some more stuff. It's a little bit easier. It's a little bit um, more ease in the conversation. Okay. I'm going to do that straight away. Thank Beautiful. you so much. Thank you. Yay. All right. Um, Amazing. Yay. This makes me so happy. All right. We've got Steve here. Okay. Wellness Wednesday. First of all, great photos. It's Wellness Wednesday. In life, we're blessed to have friends who walk with us through our highs and lows. Recently, I reconnected with a childhood friend, Mike Randolph, facing a significant health challenge. We have been friends since grad school all the way through high school. We lost touch after our first years after college. We were reconnected at our 40th year, uh, 40th high school reunion. We connected on a more spiritual relationship, and he has shown me the way back to God. He is a gentle and wise soul. He has also lived a life that I so admire and want to emulate. His journey has not only inspired me, but also reminded me of the power of faith and resilience. During one of my toughest times, including a difficult breakup, he was there, helping me find my way back to a place of spiritual peace and grounding. Now it's our turn to support him. I'm reaching out to this amazing community to ask for your prayers and positive thoughts, hoping collectively we can send a wave of wellness and healing his way. Every prayer, every positive thought counts. Let's stand together in sending love and strength to a truly remarkable servant leader. I love this post, Steve. I love this post. Um, if you can do me one favor. Sure. Come back in and add some more white space because I feel like you'll get a lot more people reading this if it doesn't look like so compounded together. Yeah. Yeah, I usually do that. I didn't, I was just kind of in a hurry, I think, to get yeah. it up. Yeah. Beautiful, 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 beautiful post. Thank you. Um, I'll get right on it. it? You know, and, and one thing with that, you could start some conversations with this post. And maybe if the, uh, and through this right in between healing his way and every prayer right here, maybe drop that down and say, if, you will, if you're standing with me um, in prayers for my beautiful friend, put, you know, put a me or something down below. I want to thank you personally for standing with me at this time or something like that. Awesome. Yeah. I'll thank you. you. You're welcome. And, you know, I, I will, I will definitely send some prayers up for your friend. I appreciate it. All right. Ariel. Elizabeth. Hi, Ariel. <laughs> okay. First of all, I just want to thank you very much because uh, I start, uh, start doing some posting after listening to you yesterday, uh, not to mention the company's name and, um, but you know what I'm using that really works? is you can go into your AI and put there, make it with curiosity. Yeah. It really works, really mm -hmm. works, you know? Yep. So yep. that's what I want to say. And also that was uh, something else too. One of the things that, I, as you see, by listening to your story, uh, you see, I a lot of time you try to show people how they can do something, but they're not ready. But the way to do it, how you did it, you went in through your mind first because you had to put that one on your mind first. There is no other way to do it. You go to a place and you are happy, blah, 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 blah. But and then you get home and then there you are. You have mm -hmm. to be able to find, to get all that negative stuff from your, from your uh, mind. And I tell you something. Many years ago, I went to, uh, I started my journey. Anyway, I have, a, I have a beautiful story. But what I want to tell you now that there is one thing that helped me a lot. It's very simple. It's only five, cause you five cents only. You know what it is? It's a rubber band. Ah. Oh. Every time, every time you, you are thinking about some negativity or something, what you do, you do that. And it's gone. And it's gone. And I was taking some courses again, uh, some, some seniors, and there they come out again with the same. They said, make sure you get a rubber band and it's not enough, put it on your neck. <laughs> 
because it's a pattern that, interrupt, that, right? Yeah, if you do that, you know, for maybe a week or two weeks, is how you get all that stuff that you had. You cannot go into life with the big thing negative about the past. The past is impossible. You have That's to true. think about today, and and to build to be able to build your your present your future. You have to put it also in your mind. And how you do that with images, images, yeah. put something on your, put something, for example, on your, where you work on your office, put some, something that you did in the past and you were happy, you know, yeah. there's a lot of stuff, Elizabeth, and we really, we feel so good with you because we had the same story. I mean, yeah. I, I just turned 79, going in 80 now, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy to be, to be alive, you know, so I have another 20, 20, 25 more years to go. So I will do my best. <laughs> life, I is love that. life is so beautiful, you know. So yeah. anyway, that's what it is. <laughs> thank, thank you and for that. Give and receive. That's yeah. my motto. Give and receive. Give yeah. and receive. Yeah. Amen. Elizabeth, Amen. you are fantastic. <laughs> thank you, Ariel. And I hope the next 24, five years, you, we're on this journey together. Because I love having you around. Yeah, why not? You are wonderful. Why not you? Why not me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I love this. Thank you so much, Ariel. Well, Here's the thing, guys. You, you, I, I want you to really think about this today as you're doing your work and as you're building your business. You have the opportunity to change people's lives. We're not just selling a product. We're showing people a different way of life. And you guys have the ability to do that. Talk about your story. Talk about the things that you've overcome. Talk about your journey. And, and don't pretend to be perfect. You know, truthfully, just be transparent. People really gravitate to that. And your tribe, you're going to find that tribe that belongs specifically with you. All right. With that, um, my pumpkin alarm's about ready to go off. I have to go to my next training. I want you guys to have a wonderful day today. Remember, as you're scrolling through social media, remember. What, the th what are the things that you're stopping on? What are the things that are important to you? What are the things that you're looking at? And remember to utilize some of that kind of stuff in your posts. You're amazing. You're going to build amazing businesses. You're changing the world. You're changing lives. And I'm going to see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Pacific on my AI live, where we're going to help you continue to do that. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I love you all so much. Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow.